What's up guys? Welcome back to Words with Weaver. Um, I'm Anna Weaver. I am a D1 athlete at Utah State University. I run cross country and track and I'm so excited to share with you what a typical week of training looks like at Utah State. Um, I don't know why I pointed that way, probably because the stadium is over there in comparison to where I live, but you guys don't know that, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, um, okay, so let's start off the week on Monday. I know some people like start the week on Sunday, but I don't do that. Like the week starts on Monday, like Sunday's the end, and then you, on Sunday night, you're like, no, the week starts over. Well, no, the week is good. Don't get me wrong, but, um, okay, sorry, that was sidetracked. Um, so Monday, we do an easy run. So we practice at 3 p.m. every day, which I love. Like, at first I was thinking, oh, no, I'm not going to like this. I like getting it over with in the morning and then having the rest of my day to kind of do schoolwork and hang out with friends and do what I want. But I honestly really like having it at 3 and then just having the rest of the evening to kind of focus on like recovery and then going to our team dinners which we have on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then um, it's really nice to just have your morning to sleep in or get schoolwork done or go to class. So Mondays I have class in the afternoon and then I go to practice and we do an easy run and that can be any pace or effort that your body needs to recover um, and then when we get back from that we do supplemental exercises with med balls so like Russian twists or soccer tosses things that use your core and your arms those are kind of just exercises that runners consider strength work which <laughs> it's fine anyways um Tuesday Tuesday we have a workout and in the winter we've been working out on this 200 meter turf field which is nice on days where it's super cold but I am so ready for winter to be done like can it please stop snowing well I mean okay sorry I know it's good for the drought but I just like come on it's March it's supposed to be spring it's fine we need it and it's great but I hope when it doesn't all melt that it just floods because I mean when it melts it doesn't all flood because then we're gonna be in a lake so that's great okay so back to what I was saying Tuesday is a workout day after we work out then we do legs which are like lunges and squats and um, donkey kicks, things that strengthen our glutes, hammies, calves, etc. All the running muscles. And we do that on workout days so that our legs aren't sore on easy days um, and that we can recover like optimally and stuff. And then Wednesdays we actually don't have practice, which is kind of nice because then you can run in the morning, you can run in the evening. You can run by yourself, you can run with teammates, you can do whatever you want, kind of. And it's really nice to have that break in the middle of the week in case you need to catch up on schoolwork or just relax or whatever you need to do. So that's nice. And then Thursdays is another easy day, kind of a replica of Monday because you do an easy run and then you do the core work again. And I kind of like that schedule just because it works with being sore, not sore, sore, not sore. But honestly, we do it so much that you don't really get sore from it anymore. It's more of just like routine injury prevention work. Um, and then Fridays um, is another workout day, which typically I love Friday workouts because they are longer efforts and like threshold paces or tempos or things like that. And I prefer that over speed work just because I think that's one of my strengths but after our Friday workouts then we do the leg day again um and then Saturdays are long run days um so it's the longest run of the week and 
typically I go nine or 10 miles on that day, depending on how I'm feeling and what mileage I hit for the rest of the week because my total mileage is at 45 miles a week right now. And then um, some of the girls on our team are higher, so they'll have like 12 or 13 mile long runs, which I applaud them for that because oof, I guess that'll be me like next year and the year after, but it's fine. Um, and so, yeah, that's what a typical, oh, and Sunday, of course. Sunday is off, so we take that day to rest and recover. Some girls, run, I know like Mika runs on Sunday or um, some of the guys run on Sundays, but um, I typically take that day to just rest and let my body recover and rejuvenate so I can start Monday fresh off the next training block again, or training week. Um, also on race weeks, we go down in mileage and core work. And then the base weeks, we kind of just stay the same or go up or, you know, it's like typical. Anyways, um, oh, my first race is March 31st at Stanford. Um, I'm doing the 10K, so wish me luck. That's a lot of laps. Um, but I'm really excited, so it'll be good. And yeah, that's basically what a typical week of training looks like for us. Um, and people, we, we cross train to supplement for low mileage or people that are high mileage obviously don't cross train 